Hey friends, it's me, Erin, your friendly neighborhood energy alchemist with today's Schumann Resonance Report for Tuesday, February the 13th. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day, so if you celebrate, here's your reminder. All right, after the graph being down for over 24 hours, we are back. And as you can see, we are getting a lot of release energy. When you look at the other graph, it's a hot freaking mess. <laughs> <sighs> This is all of your chakras opening up and giving you the opportunity to release stuff that you're holding on to in that space. This can often look like emotions coming to the surface that you don't know where they're coming from. But to release the emotion, a lot of people ask me, how do I release these emotions? That's a great question because it's not necessarily easy to know how to do that, right? So to release the emotions and the feelings that are coming to the surface with this energy, what you want to do is allow yourself to actually feel it. And don't get caught up in why do I feel this way or what is this feeling or where is this coming from or ah! Then you're just choke holding that emotion and rubbing it all around you like that dead fish. Instead, it doesn't really matter why you are feeling the way you're feeling in the moment that you're feeling it. Instead, acknowledge how you're feeling without identifying as the feeling. I'm feeling really anxious right now. I'm feeling really sad right now. That's very different than saying I am anxious or I am sad. One is temporary, one's permanent. And then no matter how long you're feeling that feeling, let yourself experience the feeling, friends. Just feel it. And I know if it's a feeling that doesn't feel good, you don't want to feel it. But maybe be open to the idea that the reason it keeps coming up is because you won't let it go. This is not about having a clear reason for why you feel the way you do or for this is not about, you know, giving forgiveness to someone who has wronged you. Um, for them, but for you, you can let go of holding on to that because I promise you, if you're holding on to a grudge, they don't care. Why you do that to yourself, friends? All of this releasing energy is really, really encouraging us to open every chakra and allow that energy out. That can look like spicy words, that can look like anxiety, sadness, things that you don't understand why you're feeling them, suddenly rising to the surface like these little bubbles of effervescence. When you feel those feelings, do yourself the favor. Journal how you feel without being judgmental about what you're saying. Go outside for a walk and just cry. Do whatever you need to do to let those feelings out, friend. It's no good holding on to them. And as you let those feelings out, while your chakras are open here, when we start receiving new energy, probably later today or tomorrow, you will have space to let it in, friends. This new energy brings inspiration and creativity and all that sort of stuff. But if you're trapped holding on to all this ickiness, it has nowhere to go. And when I tell you we are in a very, very important part of our ascension journey, I'm not kidding. It comes up every day in meditation for me. Now is the time. Make your choices. Decide to create your reality, reality rather than living by default. Make the choices to do things that feel better. Make the choice to feel better. Just do it. Even when I pull the cards for today, it's always reflecting this idea that it's time to make some changes. The first card that came up was dependence. This card is all about recognizing where you're dependent on someone else to create a feeling for you and deciding, I'm not gonna do that anymore. You do not need to be dependent on the actions of others to dictate how you feel. But when you are not in control of your energy and your feelings, the environment around you will absolutely dictate how you feel. So instead of letting other people manipulate how you feel around you, it's time for you to make the decision, I'm gonna be in charge of how I feel instead. I'm gonna take care of me instead of just defaulting to how you feel. It may be time to reevaluate who all you're hanging out with. Are you hanging out with people that all they do is complain all day? Well, no wonder you go home in a bad mood from work, friends. It's really, really time. It's time to put in the work, to do what you need to do for you to help you feel better. Because as this new horizon, this new earth, this 5D, whatever you wanna call it, as this is coming forward, it's up to you. It's up to you. Everyone's telling you it's up to you, but it really, really is. I mean, my guys are getting so pushy on this. It's time to make the decision. I'm not saying cut people out of your life. I'm not saying quit your job if, you, if that's not what you wanna do, but I am saying find something small during the day that you can do that really helps you feel better. Something just for you, something creative, something inspired, something special. And then when you do it, do it without the need of someone else validating to you how amazing it is because it is amazing. You did it, it's amazing. Man, there's that sunrise coming up over the horizon. She is gorgeous today. Oh man, it's gonna be such a beautiful day. Look at that beautiful blue sky. You hear the birds in the background. Oh, 
It's a beautiful day, friends. So such a beautiful day. Please remember, I will never message you for anything. I'm not reaching out to you for reading. I don't have a Telegram account. And if you like the cards I use in this video, they are attached to this video with the orange cart down by the comments. Thanks for being here, guys. Today, today is a great day.